So let's go ahead and open up our camera script and take a look at it. We're going to have to set some input management up for it. And I've got them all listed right here. And the same thing, uh, if I spell mouse right, uh, what, what type they are. Uh, the one I haven't implemented yet is the reset camera, but I will be using that eventually. So I'm going to go back into Unity and we'll go into the input manager. And let's take a look at it. Now I've already gone ahead and set the buttons up for it. Uh, most X, most Y are the ones that will be using to move the camera around. So just pause the video and take a look at my settings. I may have to adjust them later, and if I do, you'll see that. So we have the rotate camera button. And this is actually supposed to be mouse one, I believe. And rotate, rotate the camera on the horizontal. And as you see, I'm using keyboard uh, controls for as well as the mouse. And the reset button, which I haven't implemented yet, but I gone ahead and added it. All right, so let's look at the camera. And exposed, we have a target. Uh, we have a player tag name, which it'll look for uh, if it can't find. If we don't assign a target, it looks for a target named player. That while well, it's tagged player. And then we set the walk distance, the run distance. Uh, this is basically how far the camera is behind you. Now I haven't implemented the, the the lerping between it, so when you start running, it sort of drifts back a bit. And then when you slow down to start walking, it zooms in. I haven't implemented that yet, but I do have the uh, variables exposed for it. Uh, the height is just basically how high above the character it is. And then the X and the Y speed is just uh, how fast when you're scrolling the camera around the character, how fast it does it. And then we have some dampenings on how high you can, uh, how fast you can rotate the camera. Now there's a couple of things I want to change here because uh, with all the different models I've been playing with, I find that just setting the character as the target isn't always the best idea. So I'm going to come up here and tag my character as player. And if I were to start it up, it should find them and zoom in on them. But that's not exactly where I want the camera to be. And if we take a look, I want the camera definitely up higher than that. And there's a few ways I can do that. I could change the height here. Let's go two. Still not high enough. Three, four. And as you notice, it's sort of, it always looks at the player. So you, it isn't quite what I want. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You could uh, assign a target. And I'm just going to pick his hat for now. And I'll select the camera and I'll set the hat as being the target and if I hit play that's kind of where I want it really so let's change it a bit so that uh, it's a little more universal as far as what we're going to target uh, what I'm going to do now is instead of actually defining a target because when the game actually starts the camera is already in game or has the potential to be in game before the character and I don't want to find uh, the tag named player anymore. What I want to find is basically a camera target. So I'm going to come up here and I'm actually just going to look at the head as a target, potential target. So I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to take the head, put the head up here because he's not always going to have a hat. So I'll take a look and that's not exactly what I want. As you notice, it's to the side. But what I'm going to do is take an empty game object. So I'm just going to create an empty. And I'm going to call this camera target. And I'm going to take this camera target and I'm going to just drag it onto my character. Uh, let's go over to the move tool and I'm going to completely zero it out. Well, actually before, he's, yeah, we'll just zero it out for now. So it's completely reset and I'm just going to move it up on him. So about there. And now I'm going to switch it over to having a camera target for the camera. And we'll just add a tag. And it looks like zero is empty. So I'm going to put it up here. And I'm just going to call it camera target with capitals. And I'm going to select my camera target and set its tag to that. There we go. And I'm going to come down to my main camera. 
and where it says player tag name I don't really want it to say player tag any anymore I want it to be camera tag name so I'm going to go into my script and it's right here player tag name I'll just change that and we'll go back into unity it'll have to reset and we have a error so it won't encode so we have to actually go through and change the name everywhere so that's fine we'll just make sure we get all the changes in grab the next one ah, it looks like it was just the one causing the three errors so that's good we have it exposed now and the tag that we're actually looking for is camera target I'll just save that off and without actually, well, we have a target already set. So what I'm going to do is reset that and I'm just going to start it. And it did not find my target. So I might have spelt it wrong. Now let me just close up my character a bit here. And we did not save the camera target. So there we go. So let's start it back up and that's actually right about where I want it ah yeah there's one more fix I wanted to put in uh, the player input and let me just actually start it back up one more time you might not be able to notice it at this angle but when you jump it would double jump so when you press jump twice I've been meaning to fix this for a while I just haven't got around to actually doing it in the recording uh, let's go into advanced movement actually this is in advanced movement or sorry player input so I'm just gonna select my player and we'll take the player input class we're just gonna open that up and it's in here where we're detecting the jump now we have get button and that's why it's doing it let's switch it to a get button up and get button down should work as well I'm just gonna let it recompile I'll start it up and let's give it a test and see if it works. I'm going to move to the edge a bit so we can see the jump a little animation a bit better. And I'll jump. One jump. There we go. But I can hit it multiple times and it keeps jumping. But if I just hit it once, he just jumps once. And that's what we wanted. So that fix is done. And since we're playing with the tags, let's actually go ahead and add one other tag. Uh, sometimes I find it's included and sometimes not and that's the water tag now the water tag is actually used to detect if our player is going to be swimming or not so if we actually go into mono develop and we'll look at the player input it's right here we're detecting to see if if the tag that we're colliding with is called water so I'm just gonna cut and paste that just uh, cut down on typos and I'll come into unity and I'll just take another quick look. There is no tag for it. So I'll just make sure we have one and I'll add it. There we go. And actually we've got our camera controls set up. So let's go ahead and actually test them, see if they're working. So I'm just going to start Unity up. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is test to see if uh, my right mouse button is working as being able to rotate my mouse left and right. So I'll hold down my mouse. My, my, uh, so I hold down my right mouse button and it appears to be working. Uh, let's test the number of keys I've set up. So four should rotate to the left and it's backwards. I always get those mixed up and I probably have up and down mixed up as well, which I do. So I'm just going to quickly go into my input manager and I'll just make the changes there. So this is my rotate camera. Uh, so this should actually be six and this should be four and we'll do the horizontal ones which should be two and eight so I'll just save that off and we'll just hit play again and it should be all okie dokie now so now I rotate to the left rotate to the right up and down there we go so I'm just gonna stop that and let's move on to making some mobs. 